Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah on a break. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decree 48 for the year 2020, restructuring the Board of Directors of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, the TRA, chaired by Engineer Maryam Ahmed Jum'an. The new board shall comprise of Brigadier General Engineer Mohammed Abdelatif Al Mahmoud, Khalid Ibrahim Ahmedan, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Amal Ahmed Al Abbasi as members for a four year term. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 49 of the year 2020, appointing Yusuf Mohammed Al bin Khalil as Chief Executive Officer of the National Communication Center, the NCC. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 50 of the year 2020, establishing and forming a committee to combat extremism, terrorism, and financing and money laundering. The Interior Minister shall be the chairman of the committee, whose members include Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Minister, Foreign Affairs. Minister of Finance and National Economy Minister, Information Affairs Minister, Defense Affairs Minister, the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB Governor, the National Intelligence Agency Chief, the Public Security Chief, and the Deputy Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council. The Joint Counterterrorism Center at the Interior Ministry shall undertake the duties of the Secretary General of the Committee and all its administrative work. The panel's uh, jurisdictions include uh, studying all issues related to combat extremism, fighting terrorism and its funding, as well as countering money laundering. It shall suggest policies and coordinate the general national efforts related to countering terrorism, fighting terrorism and combating money laundering, as well as revise them and update them periodically. It shall also be or to also propose the designation of individuals and entities on the national terror list, assess the dangers of extremist ideologies, terrorism and money laundering and propose the necessary legislation and systems to combat them in coordination with the competent authorities in the kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the U.S. Naval uh, Forces Central Command, U.S. Fifth Fleet, and Combined Maritime Forces Vice Admiral James Malloy to greet His Majesty upon the end of his term. His Majesty the King hailed the depth of historic relations and partnerships between the Bahrain and the U.S., which has been based on trust, mutual respect, and coordination, noting the continuous progress of bilateral cooperation, especially in regards to military coordination and defense cooperation to serve joint goals and aspirations. His Majesty commended the efforts of Vice Admiral James Malloy during his term that contributed to developing Bahraini-U.S. cooperation, especially in military and defense affairs. The meeting also discussed the latest regional and international developments, where His Majesty noted the importance of the U.S. administration's pivotal role in cooperating with friendly and allied countries to ensure the security and stability of the region and promote world peace. Your Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, Vice Admiral James J. Malloy, Commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, U.S. Fifth Fleet Combined Maritime Forces, Your Highnesses, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests. In recognition of the tremendous role being played by Vice Admiral in appreciation of the role of Vice Admiral James Malloy's efforts in supporting the distinguished ties of friendship and cooperation between the two friendly countries in all fields, His Majesty the King presented him with the First Class Order of Bahrain. For his part, Vice Admiral James Malloy expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the First Class Order and pride in His Majesty's efforts in consolidating the strong strategic ties between the two friendly countries and praised the vital role of Bahrain as an important partner in supporting efforts aimed at promoting regional stability and peace.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met remotely with the fifth intake of the First Deputy Prime Minister Fellowship, the FDPM Fellowship. Speaking to the intake, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the importance of investing in and facilitating the future empowerment of Bahrain's youth, outlining the key role they play in the kingdom's comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted that the kingdom's youth are a central component of all development plans and contribute significantly to realizing a more prosperous future for Bahrain and its citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted the fellow's dedication and diligence throughout the fellowship, which has demonstrated their remarkable tenancy or tenacity as they supported national efforts aimed at overcoming challenges presented by COVID-19 as part of Team Bahrain. Later, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed appreciation to the fellowship's administrators who have modernized workforce education and wished each fellow success in applying the knowledge they have trained during the program when they return to their workplaces. For their part, the FDPM fellows expressed gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his continued support and encouragement. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, has received the Leader of the Year in the Grant Field Award from the International Donor Services Center, a member of the Regional Network for Social Responsibility in light of the outstanding efforts made by His Highness to serve citizens and residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain, implementing the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was honored during the activities of the the fourth donors conference and prize for the year 2020 organized by the international donor services center in cooperation with the global expert consultancies group the event was held virtually under the supervision of the global center for sustainable development and under the honorary patronage of his excellency mr ali bin saleh al saleh chairman of the shura council the conference took place to discuss the donors and their growing role in supporting economic recovery programs and sustainable development featuring participants Participants from the Arab world as well as international countries. Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, received the award on behalf of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his utmost appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, for His Majesty's continued support and sponsorship to meet the key goals for sustainable development in the Kingdom of Bahrain in order to fulfill the aspirations of the humanity's needs and achieve social care in the long term. He also praised the support of the cabinet under the chairmanship of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, to realize many objectives in various fields by extending support to the citizens and residents living in Bahrain. He explained that the RHF is blessed with the sponsorship of His Majesty the King, stating that the recently launched Afina Khair campaign has accomplished many goals after earning huge social backing with the Bahraini people taking an unforgettable stance in supporting the campaign which contributed in aiding those who are affected by the spread of the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic in Bahrain and outside the kingdom too. In the end, His Highness Sheikh Nasser thanked the International Donor Services Center for the award, wishing them the best of luck. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised a child called Muhammad Ali Hassan Mekki who lost his sight. His Highness and his daughter, Her Highness Sheikh Shayma bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his sons, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Muhammad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met the boy Muhammad while learning horse riding. His Highness expressed his best wishes for the boy, as boy's every success. Who who His Highness called a champion who lost his eyesight but has high ambitions. His Highness said he is honored to be among the supporters of the boy. At the end of the encounter, the sons and daughter of His Highness Sheikh Nasser gifted the boy a horse to mark the occasion, which enjoyed wide-ranging coverage on social media, with emphasis on His Highness's sons and daughter, who are keen on supporting the disabled.
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,454 with 337 recoveries, 378 registered new cases and one death. 132 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 236 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The deceased is a 73 year old expatriate. The ministry expressed heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.